My name is Omar Hassan. I work as uh, head of humanitarian program with Islamic Relief Pakistan. Um, I've just uh, arrived in Tata uh, in an IDP camp uh, where Islamic Relief has provided um, shelter, um, the tents. We are also uh, providing clean water. We are also providing food. And um, additionally, we're looking after health, hygiene, and unsanitation of, of these IDP camps. These IDP camps are very few of uh, the affected ones. There are millions of other people who are li still living in their areas. They haven't moved out of their houses because they, you know, they want to stay there. Uh, they are, uh, you know, the stagnant water is four to five feet almost in all the areas which are affected, and people are sheltered less. Uh, they are under the, the open sky, uh, they don't have much to eat, uh, food is the biggest priority at this point in time. Uh, and then they have issues of clean water, there is dirty water available at all the levels. And then they are defecating there, there are, um, you know, the livestock, dead livestock there. So these are all problems which people are faced with and because of that, Health is a major issue at this point in time. Not getting, not accessing to the clean drinking water, um, having these, you know, de open defecation, you know, no proper sanitation. So the health statistics are looking worrying now. Uh, you know, malaria is on the rise, uh, diarrhea, waterborne diseases are on the rise. So we are getting into a difficult situation day by day. So it is important for now that we act quickly. We try to manage the situation at this point in time, respond with food, uh, with uh, clean drinking water, with sanitation, with shelter. Uh, and unfortunately, if we can't do that, uh, this situation will become much more worse and probably will be facing a disaster um, after this disaster, which will be much difficult to cope with. Uh, so international community is required to respond immediately. Islamic Leaf is on the ground. We are supporting. Uh, we are we with the aim of supporting 30,000 families across uh, the flood affected districts. Uh, we are looking at food distributions. We are already doing that. We are looking at shelter distribution. Uh, we are looking at uh, health activities, hygiene activities, and and providing safe drinking water. So we need support. We need immediate support and international community needs to act now.